Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. back in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Astrid has heard Cicero speaking with someone in whispered tones in the chamber of the Night Mother. She fears they're conspiring against the sanctuary and wants me to eavesdrop on the conversation. I'm to sneak into the chamber and hide in the coffin of the Night Mother. I don't know about you, but that's one of the most disgusting things I've been asked to do. this too. It's better sorry than safe, huh? Alright, here we go. alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble son. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Okay. Oh, but how can I, be can I defend you? Now? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bone, oh God. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried. So very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! 
Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! You have got to be joking. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Wait. She said to tell you, Darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true, she's <laughs> back. Oh Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. Lysippus <laughs> descends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! He's right. And Astrid, you've got some nerve to barge in here. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? I, I, I'm still dismayed at how you just barged in here. You know, you were outside eavesdropping. You gave me a task to do, and you interrupted it. But it's true, the Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrude? I should speak to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen. I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> you disgust me. All right, where the hell is Nazir? This is all just too. 
Oh, you want to talk to me some more? Go ahead. This is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to... to think. I bet you do. This is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to... Bread must be good. Brother. Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Tell me about Hearn. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Tell me about Lurbuk. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. <laughs> all right, then. Happy hunting. Yes. I think Lurbuk needs to go first. There are that many people that want him dead. I thought the Thieves Guild was messed up. I missed them. Being here with this bunch of loons. Alright. Lurbuk, where are you? Morthal. All right, let me. Uh, I see all this death bell around here. I just can't leave it. Alchemy is one of my favorite pastimes. All right, horse. I haven't named you yet, but you just stay put. Well, aren't you the handsome one? You and I should spend some time together. Oh, really? Oh. Who are you? Alva. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. These people are like cattle. All they do is work, sleep, and eat. Gathering plants, picking mushrooms, brewing potions. You don't get so dreary after a while. This town needs something exciting to happen. Hmm, I suppose so. But maybe if you invite me into your cabin, you can experience some excitement. Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. I see a sky shard down here. I'll be with you later, Alva. Oh my god. We just had a... a dolomite weather event. Uh, now I don't even know where the uh, sky shard is. Wow. Oh, here it is. Alright, so I'm going to need one more before I get a uh, perk point. So that I can become better at something. 
Look at all this death bell, wow. Okay. Let's get back on track. We'll have to find Alva later. supposed to kill. For a moment there, I forgot why I was here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. How do we do this quietly? And unseen. Didn't see anything, lady. Mm -hmm. Take these earrings. Have a nice day. Death bell. Guess I better get out of here before uh, that body is discovered. All right, where is our next? Kill her. Wait, is her nearby? Hearn wasn't nearby at all. It's quite a journey, but here we are. Right, according to my compass. This hern should be somewhere close by. Let's go invisible. towards me. Oh. All right, there's supposed to be another vampire. See if she's inside. No. This kind of concerns me. This was way too easy.
Well, I just hope that that uh, female vampire doesn't try to hunt me down for killing. But these assignments are so much easier than when I was trying to get in good graces with the we Thieves Guild. Talk. Oh, Lord, really? Oh, I think I'll just remain silent. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Valenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay, but let me talk to Nazir first. Brother? Sister? Oh no, Astrid has a way of growing on you. I disliked her at first, but the more I'm around her, the more I start to respect her. So many contracts, so little time. Hearn is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Lurbuk is dead. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Are there any more contracts available? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Hmm. Well, he doesn't have any more money, but I'll take your scimitar. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. pay for a mammoth steak dinner. Yeah, these people really don't have anything of value. All right, well. I think next time we're going to have to head to. Let me just look at this. We're going to go and speak with Amon Motier. Until next time.